Hey, what's up, cousins? How are y'all doing? Welcome back to Tommy Bites TV. How are y'all doing today? So I, it's been a busy day, y'all. I'm trying to figure out how to get these stories out to you. Make sure you have what you need, need what you have. I want to start by saying this channel is doing a lot of things. I know. And it probably won't be for everybody, but I hope that you guys stick in there and stay with me on this journey that I am on up evolving. And a lot of people don't want you to evolve. They want you to stay the same, do the same. That's boring. If we all did the same thing every single day, it would be boring. OK, so um, I will keep telling you, however, we need to pray, plan, and prep. There are so many things that are going on in the world, and they will definitely affect us here in the United States. Whether we believe it or not, whether we want to live in La La Land or not, it is going to happen. So let's get into this video because people are upset, and, and I guess rightfully so. They should be upset about what exactly is happening with this particular um, store. And it's not just this store, it's, it's gonna happen in other stores as well, but we're gonna start off with this store because that's where we got our news story from. So let's get into it and let's not make this a long video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please, please, please. Let me have my bad paint job, child. I don't know why this computer wanna be showing me out like that, okay? I'm going to touch it up, y'all. I'm going to touch it up. Um, I got to get another brush, but I'm going to touch it up. So we're going to get in here. So an Aldi customer has shared their outrage as the store confirmed it has doubled the price of one of their popular items. Can y'all guess in the comments which item that is that you think has gone up 100%? Percent. Even the discount store has not been immune to drastic inflation of food prices and one essential ingredient has been affected more than others. Aldi often interacts with its customers on X, formerly known as Twitter, allowing them to share their favorite products or vent a complaint about the store. And so a lot of complaints have been coming in. And in a recent post, one shopper asked why the price of olive oil has gone up despite the bottle being made smaller. And that's what we're going to be facing. Um, I think I was talking. Who was I talking to? I don't know if it was Crooked or if it was Martin. It could have been both in the um, chat. And shrinkflation is real. I don't know if you're noticing the packages are changing. Like you'll see a product on the shelf and then that product will disappear. And it's a product that everybody loves to get. So once it disappears, it stays gone for a while. It stays gone for a while because that company see that, hey, dollars are flying in for this product. So let's repackage it. This is why it's taking a long time for it to come back on shelf. One of the reasons. OK, so while they're repackaging it, they're not repackaging it to make it better for us, the consumer, they're making it better for them in their pockets. I'm sorry, y'all. Those are here touching up my face. But anyway, so they're making it better for them in their pockets. They're repackaging that product and they're putting it back on the shelves. When it shows back up and you see it, the packaging is different in hopes that you don't notice that they have shrinked the size of that particular product. So that is what's happening. So the customer named Diana wrote, what's the deal about olive oil? I used to pay $7.99 for a 33 ounce bottle. Today, those size bottles are gone. So she claimed now it's $7.99 for a 16 ounce bottle. That's a 100% increase. Now, she put that on Twitter on their page, I'm assuming, because they responded back and how they responded, you know, they just basically kind of sort of told her the truth, but they left some things out. But I just told you why they did that. But anyway, 
Aldi was able to confirm that Diana's claims about the prices were indeed accurate. At times, they said, this is Aldi in quotations, at times due to rising food costs, we may be forced to raise our prices. Uh, however, at Aldi, we always work to maintain our significant competitive price advantage. We appreciate your feedback and your comments will be shared with the appropriate department for further review. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments about that because, yes, they are only doing what they have to do to um, offset the cost um, because basically they're, they're paying to have this product on their shelves. This is why some people, when they come out with a product, they would prefer it not to even be in a store because you're actually renting that space out, um, those shelves out to those people. Um, we, let's go into why the shortage is happening. Well, why it's so expensive, not the shortage, but why the product is so expensive. So it says there's a very good reason why olive oil has got a lot more expensive at every store recently. The Mediterranean region where the majority of olive oil is produced um, has experienced severe drought. And that is happening, That that is happening. We see what's happening in the Panama Canal with the severe drought causing issues with um, ships being able to go through because they're not using seawater, they're using water from the river, lake or whatever. So in August, the price of olive oil was 130% higher than it was last year or the year before, reflecting the high price increase since 1996. It says while consumers could opt for cheaper oils, which have not been affected by this drought, there's no substituting Mediterranean olive oil for a lot of people. People prefer what they prefer. So if you prefer that, you're not willing to change your, your habits and your spending and what you're buying, then you're going to have to pay those fees. They're not going to reduce it. Y'all, food prices are not going to go down anytime soon. I keep saying this, and in these stories, it's giving you uh, subtle signs that this is what is happening. Um, consumers are cultural preferences for olive oil makes it difficult to substitute despite plentiful supply of other vegetable oils, said the United States Department of Agriculture to this news outlet. So y'all can let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I think personally, we're going to have to learn how to substitute if we want to not spend so much for certain things. Now, there is some things I don't want to compromise on and I can't, I guess I'm just like this person. Um, don't want to compromise on their olive oil. I don't want to compromise when it Sorry, I got dizzy, y'all. I don't want to compromise when it comes to um, my baking. Um, I think it matters because I have tried not just baking, but cooking in general when, when you're cooking a certain thing or you're baking a certain thing. Um, what is it? Cream cheese. Cream cheese. That's what it is. I have tried generic version of cream cheese from Walmart. And when I tell you the texture is totally different, I don't suggest you do it. I suggest you pinch a few more pennies and put them to get that, you know, Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't know what it is, but it is way better than the generic. So I understand it, but there are other things that I don't mind not using a name brand or, you know, changing up the brand, period, is not going to affect the meal. But we're going to be facing a lot of shrinkflation, and shrinkflation is real. Just pay attention to those shelves and the products. You will see shrinkflation. Hold on. Let me stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay, stop sharing that. 
you're going to see that shrinkflation is real. So y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember that I do love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love because God is love and he would want you to share it. Just like I want you to share my content because liking, subscribing, turning on your notifications, commenting below um, and sharing, of course, all those things help the channel help my family and help others know what they need to know so they can prepare ahead of time. So y'all keep praying, planning and prepping because God is first and God is going to make sure that you are okay. But he wants you to make sure you are okay as well. Don't let him do all the work. Meet him there. Meet him there. And I'll holla. Bye y'all.